Welcome everyone, tonight we are taking a look at the Winkle MXB 1300 Mixing Bowl. I've had this item for about three weeks now, and it's very very handy to have around. It works great for washing produce, tossing salads, even as a place to set aside chicken uh, when you're searing it. Now on the other hand, if you're looking for something that can handle cutting butter into flour, where you're going to be hitting it up with metal utensils a lot, this is very thin steel, and I'd suggest looking at the heavier weight Winkle Bowl, very similar to this one, and I have that link in my written description below. In this video, we're going to be covering three parts. First, we're going to go over the specifications. Second, I'm going to do a demo, and I'm going to show you something else this time is very good for, serving popcorn. We're going to make some really good popcorn. And third, I'm going to talk about functionality. So let's begin with some measurements. This bowl has a diameter of 14 and 5 eighths of an inch, and the height I already measured beforehand at 3 and 3 quarters of an inch. It's really light at only 289 grams. And now for our demo. We're gonna make some delicious popcorn, but there's a couple other things we'll need. So this is an air popper that we're gonna use to make our popcorn. And over here we have a mortar and pestle. This is the Thunder Group mortar and pestle set, which is also available on Tiger Chef. Besides that, we will need sea salt, and we'll need some fresh peppercorns. And of course, a little bit of butter, which I'm gonna put in the microwave to melt. And I've already went in and added a couple of peppercorns and a little bit of sea salt to the mortar and pestle. I'm gonna grind these up first. And this should do the trick. Now I'm gonna turn this on, and it's a little loud, so I'll be back when it's ready. The popcorn is done, so now it's time to add our seasonings. We're gonna start by dripping the butter over it, trying to cover as much as we can. And it's not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna do our best. And I'm just gonna take it and very lightly toss it together. If you've ever made popcorn, you know it's a challenge to get the salt and pepper to stick. So one tip I like to use, this is a olive oil sprayer. I'm just gonna gently spray down a little bit, very, very lightly, with olive oil. And this will help the salt and pepper stick. And then of course, we're gonna add our salt and pepper. And this pepper just has this incredible aroma every time I smell it, it just, it makes me hungry. And this bowl, because it's so light, just perfect for serving popcorn. I only made a little bit here, but if you fill it up, that's gonna be enough for two or three people. And I mean, it's great for movie night. Moving on to functionality. So as I mentioned before, my favorite part about this item is just so lightweight. And having a lightweight utility bowl like this that you can just grab, use, and then rinse it off really, really easily, it's invaluable. Right out of the box, this item, it's ready to use. There's no dents, there's no sharp edges around the rim. Everything is smooth and ready to go. I noticed a few small, minor cosmetic scratches, but those are hard to see and they don't really impact the functionality of this item. To sum things up, this item, it's been a great addition to my kitchen. Very handy for all those miscellaneous tasks. And if you're looking for something, a utility bowl that you can toss a salad in, wash produce in, that's really lightweight, easy to handle, easy to clean, I highly recommend it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I will get them answered for you.